I am trying to make a pot uh, to pot some lettuce. What I'm using here is an old basket that uh, has been out in the weather quite a bit already, I guess. What I'm doing is I'm putting some plastic sheeting here in the basket to kind of help keep the dirt from flowing out through the sides and the bottom of the basket. Preferably what I would really like to have here instead of sheet plastic would be some uh, burlap, like burlap sack type material because that's more natural and uh, less toxic. But we are just kind of experimenting with this and we'll see how it works and maybe next time around we'll have some burlap where we can line the basket with the burlap. What I'm doing right now is putting some of my compost in here. I poke holes in the plastic to allow the water that gets in here to drain out. I'll be putting in about half compost and half potting soil. And then planting some lettuce in it. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll work out well. Not sure how long the basket will hold up in the weather, but at least maybe for a few months, maybe it'll work out pretty well as a planter. Here's the potting soil. to it, pop it off. Hopefully it'll provide a pretty good medium to grow the lettuce in it. Let's just kind of mix this in here. Hopefully relatively evenly distributed, roughly. Okay, now for some more compost. get our work out this way too, walking forth and back and back and forth. Okay, so we've got a few different varieties of lettuce here. We've got Paris Island lettuce, which is kind of the longer, uh, almost like uh, romaine style lettuce with the long leaves. And looks like we've got two of those. There's some Sulu lettuce, which is a green leaf lettuce type. There's some radicchio, which I think is actually maybe more of like a cabbage, looks like. Less of a lettuce. Might actually plant that separately. Then we got some garrison red lettuce. And some droopy red lettuce. <laughs> and what we'll do is arrange it something like this, maybe. Focia lettuce um, yeah okay interesting yep probably what we'll do though with this is uh, harvest it in a sustainable way so instead of cutting off the head when it's matured 
We'll just let it grow and as it grows, you know, maybe cut off a leaf here and a leaf there and then let it regrow and cut off some more uh, as time goes on and that way it's sustainable and you don't grow one big plant and then cut it down and that's it. You have leaves that grow for a while and you're able to harvest as time goes on. So that's the plan and hopefully with a little creativity here we will have some contrasting colors in a way that looks pretty nice. I'm going to start with these in the middle or looks like there's two there maybe. Kind of wetting the soil so it helps the roots to come loose a little better from the seed starting pot. This one has two plants, as you can probably see there, two different main stalks. So we're gonna separate those. And maybe what we should do first is kind of alternate around the edges, like this. Alternating crossways. This. Gotta make sure the roots are firmly planted. Don't want to compact it a whole lot, but still want to make sure that the roots make contact with the soil. That way they're able to uptake the nutrients that way. We'll definitely be editing this section out of the video. <laughs> Why? What we're spraying on this is water with a mixture of uh, seaweed and biostimulant, which I think is fish emulsion basically. Uh, it's basically a root stimulator. And that's to help, hopefully, help the uh, plants recover from the shock of being transplanted. Get them on a good leg to get growing uh, over the next couple of weeks. So um, these lettuces here are a very good cool, uh, cool weather, winter, fall and winter type crop. Although I suppose if you kept them uh, cool like in the shade during, uh, during the summer they might do okay as long as they don't get too hot. Heat is their enemy. So we're putting that radicchio right there in the middle and that provides with us with some contrast of color between the reds and the purples and the greens. So uh, hopefully all these plants here will take off and do real well and we'll have plenty of salad uh, lettuces uh, this coming spring and early summer as well as some color and variety for the yard. Mulch. Okay, so we're finished with our lettuce planter and hopeful that it will be exponentially increasing to make some yummy salads which you'll enjoy and also an, a bright area in the yard as Joel was saying earlier and thank you so much for watching the video as we are planting in a different sort of way not a traditional pot hope you enjoyed the video